Yo boys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since a modding video but I'm excited to get back into it. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install Waldo Bainter's blob set creator so you can get mods. I will also show you how to install a few sample mods that have already been made. Without further ado, let's hop into it. First join the discord and head down to hashtag Waldo Bainter tools. Now the version you see right now is only beta. Do not install this version, install the most current version. I'm only using this so the tutorial can be out as soon as the modding tool launches. Click download then once it's installed chuck it on your desktop. Next you wanna extract it. If you are on Windows 10 you may need WinRAR to do this. Delete the old folder. Now open up the blob set tools folder and run blob set tools.exe. Click more info, run anyway. Okay that was super easy, that's the blob set creator installed. Now I will give you a basic rundown of how to use it and where to install mods. First click on the Rugby League 26 picture. This will open up the game's files, which are looking super slick by the way. If there's ever an issue and the files don't show up, especially after our update, speaking from first-hand experience, click options then update file mapping. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes for all the files to be there again. Okay now let's install mods. In File Explorer you want to open games then Rugby League 26. I will show you how to install the three New Jersey mods. First you want to go back to the Discord so we can download the files. In the Discord go to hashtag jerseys, then install all the DDS files. You then want to go to File Explorer and chuck them all on your desktop so they're easily accessible. Next we need to check the install location which in this case we can see is mods slash characters slash uniforms slash textures. All jerseys will have the same install location. Okay so open up your file directory according to the install location. Easy, now all we have to do is drag and drop the three files into this location. Do not change the names of the files or they will not work. Okay. Now go back to the Blobset Creator page and open up blobsettools.exe. Go into Rugby League 26 then click Modify Blobset. Now close all Blobset tools and launch your game to see if it works. Obviously there will be new mods coming out as we go but for now there's only a few. If there's more at the time of recording I recommend you also download them. Anyway make sure to like, subscribe and join the Discord. See you boys in the next one. Peace.